and Claire are going to tell you all about forensic science. Hello! So we're going to talk to you today about how we can use different types of science to catch criminals. Um, these are techniques that are used by crime scene investigators or forensic scientists and they can use them in the lab or they can use them out at the crime scene. So we're going to show you a couple of techniques so that it's what we can do to get these people. And the first one we're going to look at is involving blood. So. Can everyone see this stain on the window? What do we think that might be? It might be? It might be red pen. It might be red pen. It could be... Another idea? It, it could be blood. Yes, it could be, because we're at a crime scene, aren't we? All right. So what Claire's going to do is she's going to take a swab of the blood, and we take swabs when we want to take samples. Now, we've got a test that we can do at the crime scene, which uses this chemical here, and it's called Castlemayer. So you can see it's got no colour at all. So Claire's going to drop it onto the swab, OK? Now, nothing should happen, but because blood contains something called haemoglobin, OK, when Claire adds another chemical, which is bleach, what the bleach um, does is it reacts with the blood and we get this bright pink colour. Okay, so we know that this stain is blood and not, for example, red pen, like you suggested. So what Claire can then do is take another swab and then we can send it off to the lab. They can test it for DNA. And we all have different DNA, so we can use that to identify a criminal. So the next test we're going to have a look at involves fingerprints. So what can you tell me about fingerprints? Why are they so important? Yes? Because there's only one person, each person that only has their own one. Exactly. So yours are different to mine, which are different to cats, which are different to everybody's in this room. So if we can look at fingerprints and we can see them, then we can match them to an individual. Now, the whole point of fingerprints and why it works is because actually we're quite sweaty. And when we touch something, our fingers sweat and we transfer what the sweat or whatever's on our fingers to the surface. So if you want to pass that round, you might now be able to see that I've got there's some fingerprints on there. Now, in terms of a crime and this window frame, if someone's tried to get into somebody's house, chances are there's some fingerprints on here. Can anybody see any fingerprints on here? No? So we're going to have to try something to try and visualise these fingerprints. There's lots of different things we can use, but today we're going to use a powder. Now this powder is really cool because it's also magnetic. You all know what magnets do, don't you? They get attract opposites. So the powder is getting attracted to our, our wand. And what's even better about this powder is it's green and therefore it will give us a good contrast against our brown window frame. But what's even better, this powder will glow under a certain type of light. So we've got a UV light here, so if we shine it over our fingerprints, can you now see them? A bit brighter than when we couldn't see them without anything. So we can get a good photo of that and then use that against whoever the criminal was um, and try and match their fingerprints and show that they were actually touching this person's window. And the last bit we're going to show you is to do with glass. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of a science magic trick. So we've got lots of glass around us. We've got the glass in the window, we've got the glass in the windows of the lab. And glass lets through lots of light, doesn't it? So here we've got a big glass beaker, OK, and we've got some water in it. So does anyone know what might happen if I put this pencil into this water? Does anyone have any ideas? 
We're not sure. All right, can you all watch carefully? And then will you, will you tell me what happens? So, perfectly normal pencil, yes? Everyone say yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Excellent. Okay. So we'll put the pencil in the water. What can you see? What it's do you bigger. notice? It's gone bigger. It's gone bigger. It's gone fatter. Bigger. bigger. It's gone bendy. It's gone bendy. Can we see? Ooh. Can anyone see that the pencil looks like it's gone bendy? Yeah? But we pull it out again. Is that bendy? Yeah. No. What's happened there is something called refraction, okay? When light travels through the glass and through the water, it slows down, okay? And when it slows down, it makes it look like the pencil is bending. So when Claire collects the glass samples from the window, we can measure how much glass bends or slows down light, okay? And we can test samples found in the suspect's hair or on the, the criminal's clothes, and we can compare them to the samples in the window to see if they're the same. So altogether, today we've looked at different techniques that we can use at the crime scene Okay, to catch a criminal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.